1960 Yankees had on their roster 10 former Kansas City Athletics. Between 1955 and 1960, there was an unholy alliance between the Kansas City Athletics and the New York Yankees. The two franchises completed 16 trades involving 56 players, or 62 players if you count six of them were traded twice, and that was to get them more seasoning for the Yankees. Many people around baseball consider Kansas City A's another farm team for the New York Yankees. How could that be? Well, the A's were owned by Arnold Johnson. Arnold Johnson, before he bought the athletics in Philadelphia, owned Yankee Stadium, and he owned Blue Stadium in Kansas City, which was their top farm team. So in order to buy the A's, he had to sell his rights to Yankee Stadium, sell Blue Stadium to the city of Kansas City, and move the Denver Bears from Kansas City to, to uh, actually the Blues, to Denver and they became the Denver Bears. He added the upper deck to Kansas City Stadium. He hired Del, Del Webb, who was, uh, I think the principal owner of the Yankees, his construction company, to build that upper deck, which they did in 90 days. But I read somewhere that uh, I think Arnold Johnson was allowed to keep the concessions at Yankee Stadium, so he still had a financial interest in the Yankees playing well. And also in the back of his mind, he wanted to move the A's to Los Angeles. Uh, his deal with Kansas City, when he leased uh, Municipal Stadium from the city, which he sold to the city, uh, he had a three-year escape clause, clause that if the A's did not draw a million fans, uh, that he could move the team. Uh, they drew 1.3 million in 1955, which was third in baseball behind the Yankees and the Milwaukee Braves. But they didn't draw that many in the, the remaining two years. The thing that stopped him from moving to Los Angeles was the Brooklyn Dodgers beating to the punch. But the trading came to a head in December 11th, 1959. The Kansas City A's sent Roger Maris, Kent Hadley, and Jody Maestri to New York. And the A's received Norm Seaburn, Don Larson, and Hank Bauer. And there was another player whose name doesn't come to my mind right now. And that was one of the most lopsided trades in history. Of course, Maris came on to be the American League MVP in 1960 and 61 and set the home run record. He was an incredibly talented and athletic player, high school football legend, who once scored four uh, kickoff return touchdowns in a single game in Fargo, North Dakota. The A's, well, they got Norm Seaburn, who was decent on offense for a few years, and Hank Bauer did become their manager in 1961, but a lopsided trade nonetheless. Unexpectedly, Arnold Johnson, after spring training in 1960, had a cerebral brain hemorrhage and died uh, unexpectedly. So the team was sold to Charles O. Finley out of Chicago. Finley promised Kansas City there'd be no more trades with the New York Yankees. Welcome everybody, this is Appa Brian with Appa Baseball Classics. We're using the Stratomatic format to do the 1960 King of the Hill Tournament. This is Game 7, which is the championship game of the American League. The Baltimore Orioles take on the New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Thanks for joining us. Here are the starting lineups for the Baltimore Orioles. Leading off and playing left field is Gene Woodling. Batting second in center field, Jackie Brandt. Brooks Robinson will bat third at first base, or play third base. Jim Gentile's at first base. He hits fourth. Ron Hansen, shortstop. Gus Triandos, the catcher. Marv Breeding at second base. Gene Stevens in right field. And the starting pitcher is Steve Barber. He is 10-7, 3.21 earned run average in 1960. Here's your starting lineups for the Yankees. Bobby Richardson will lead off and play second base. Tony Kubek, shortstop. Mickey Mantle in center field. 
Roger Maris hits fourth in right field. Bill Scourin at first base. Hector Lopez in left field. Yogi Berra is the catcher. Cleet Boyer at third base. And Art Dittmar on the mound. Dittmar was 15 and 9, 3.06 in 1960. Yankees were deciding between Whitey Ford or Art Dittmar for this game. They're going to hold Ford for the National League champion if they get there because of Ford's reputation and his World Series pitching record. We're ready for first pitch. Jackie Brandt steps in the box. Let's play ball, not Jackie Brandt. Gene Woodling steps in the box. Here's the roll. 4-7 is a ground ball second base. X, that's Bobby Richardson's a 1. 9 is going to be an out. That's how today's game starts. We roll out the second base. Jackie Brandt. 5-6 is a fly ball to the field. Caught by Hector Lopez. That's two outs. And now third baseman, Brooks Robinson. 1-3 is going to be a base on balls. And the Orioles have their first run of the game. He is slow, so they're not going to hold him. Jim Gentile. Coming off a multi-home run game against the Chicago White Sox yesterday. Here's the pitch. 2-8 is going to be a base hit for Jim Gentile. Robinson will probably hold it second. He's only a 1-12, through 1-14 through 14 with two outs. Um, don't want to make the third out at third, so let's not try it. Ron Hansen. 5-8 is going to be a pop-up to the shortstop. Tony Kubek is under it and makes the catch. That's the end of the top of the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. Steve Barber will be pitching to Bobby Richardson, Tony Kubek, and Mickey Mantle. Here's the pitch. 4-8 is a base on balls to Bobby Richardson. He is a C stealer, 1-14 runner. Not holding a runner. And here is Tony Kubek. Fly ball center field X. That's Jackie Brandt. He is a fielder two. And that's going to be caught. Runner holds. Brings up Mickey Mantle. Led the league, American League in home runs in 1960, 40. Here is Mantle's pitch is 510 that's ground ball shortstop X Ron Hansen's a two that's going to be a six four three double play we go to the second no score Bart Dittmar completes his warm-up tosses he is a control finesse pitcher um, Gus Triandos leads off for Baltimore, 5-5 five, five is the roll. That's going to be a walk. And that's the second walk given up by the control pitcher. Marv Breeding, not holding the runner. Four twelve is a fly ball to Roger Maris in right field. One away. Gene Stevens. So five sevens, a pop up to first base, caught by Moose Gowan, two outs. Steve Barber is the pitcher, he's a batting card one. Three ten is a ground ball to third base. Cleet Boyer makes the play. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. 1960 AL MVP Roger Maris steps in the box. So he's from the left side. 2 4 is going to be a base on balls to Roger Maris.
First place from Bill Scouring comes to that. Five ten is going to be ground ball shortstop X. Ron Hansen's a two. Sixteen two is going to be a six four three double play. Base is clear and Hector Lopez. 2-8 is a single for Lopez. Good hitter, uh, not so good with the glove. He uh, committed the most errors between, played with the Kansas City A's, uh, but between 55 and 60, uh, let's see, um, 55 and 58 at third base, he had the most errors in the American League. And they moved into left field. Here is Yogi Berra. Two outs. Lopez at first. 1-9. That's a long drive to right field, but it will not be deep enough. Caught by Gene Stevens. Yankees are retired in the second. We go to the third. No score. Top of the order. And Gene Woodling moves off for the Orioles. 5-10 is a... Catcher's card X. Uh, Barra is a three. Uh, two three is going to be out on a dribbler. Score at two to three. Jackie Brandt. Rolls 2 4. It's a ground ball back to the pitcher, Dittmar, who throws over to Muscowan for the second out. Brooks Robinson. 2 7 is a ground ball to third, 5 to 3. Cleet Boyer makes the play. For the bottom of the third, there is no score. Cleet Boyer, very, very good defensive player, uh, but did not gain gloves, girl gloves while he was in the American League. Brooks Robinson stood in the way of that. But the first time he played in the National League in 1969, he did get a gold glove with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, he always said that Yankee Stadium right field hurt him as a hitter. And so also when he went to the Braves, um, he had his best offensive season. I think he hit 26 home runs. 5-7 is a walk to Cleet Boyer. They're going to not hold the runner. Pitcher Art Dittmar will come to bat and try to sacrifice him to second. That's a six roll, and that's going to be a successful sacrifice thrown out by the third baseman. Five to four. Warrior goes to second. So with one out, Bobby Richardson comes to bat. 3-6 is going to be a 1-6 is a single, but a line out to second base. Two outs. Tony Kubek. Fly to center his first time up. 4-6 is a walk. Both pitchers have been a little bit tentative with their control. Mickey Mantle with two on and two outs. One five is a swing and a miss for a strike three. Yankees fail to take advantage of the two walks. They leave two stranded. We go to the top of the fourth. No score. Diamond Jim Gentile leads off for the Baltimore Orioles. Four six is a Walk. Both pitchers are pitching cautiously, and at some point, you got to figure they could get bit by a long one big time. Here's a pitch to Ron Hansen. Not holding a runner. 5-5 five, five is a ground ball shortstop. X, the shortstop, is Tony Kubik's a two. That's going to be a one-base single. Gentile goes to second. 
No odds. Hansen's at first. The batter is Gus Triandos, who also homered yesterday. Here's the pitch. 4-9 is going to be a long drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here for a home run. A three-run homer for Gus Triandos puts the birds on top of the Yankees here in the fourth inning. More breeding. Four four is a fly ball center field X. There's Mantles a one in center field. That's seventeen. One he makes the play. Breeding is the first out in the inning. Here is Gene Stevens. 4-6 is a walk. Pitcher Steve Barber hitting card one is going to sacrifice. Tends the roll. That's going to be lead runner thrown out. Fielder's choice. Thrown out by the pitcher. One to six, two outs, and Steve Barber's at first. Gene Woodling, former Yankee, three eight is going to be a single for Woodling. Uh, Barber will go to second and hold there. Brings up the eighth batter of the inning, Jackie Brandt. 2-2 two, two is a line out to second base. Caught by Bobby Richardson. But the Orioles score three in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Baltimore three, New York nothing. Roger Maris will lead off the bottom of the fourth inning for New York. Played 1960 through 66 for the Yankees. 66 was a disappointing season. He played, actually played it with a broken hand, undiagnosed, and that led to his trade to the St. Louis Cardinals in 67. Here's the pitch to Roger Maris. 4-6 is a walk. And he has walked for the second time. And Steve Barber has given up no hits but five walks. Not holding Maris. Here is Mick or Bill Scourin. One seven is the roll. That's going to be a single for Bill Scourin. Two bait, two asterisks. So Maris will make it to third. No outs, and the Yankees have a threat. The Orioles are not hold the base runner, but they and they're also not going to play. Yeah, and they're going to play deep. Try to get a double play. Hector Lopez steps into the box. Actually, the Yankees do have one hit, and that was by Hector Lopez. 5-8 is a swing and a miss for a strike three. Big strikeout with a runner on third. Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra comes to bat. Very unorthodox hitter. He'd swing at anything. Also very good at hitting the ball down the lines, which was beneficial in Yankee Stadium. Here's the pitch to Barra 2-6 is going to be a line drive to the second baseman. And it is caught by Marv Breeding. There's two outs. And now Cleet Boyer. Most fun he ever had was playing in the 64 World Series along and against, along with and against his brother Ken. 4-10 is fly ball to center field. Caught out there by Jackie Brent. That wipes aside the Yankee threat in the fourth. We go to the fifth. Three to nothing, Baltimore. In the actual game one of the 1960 World Series, Casey Stengel was heavily criticized for not starting his ace, Whitey Ford, in game one. 
He's not starting Whitey Ford here in this game, and he may get some criticism for that. Here's the pitch to Brooks Robinson. 5-9 is a ground ball to second base. First out of the fifth inning. Jim Gentile. 5-9 is a ground ball to Bobby Richardson as well. Two outs. Ron Hansen. 4-3 is a ground ball to Art Dittmar. Over to Moose Scour, and that's three up and three down for the Orioles in the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, it's Baltimore three, New York nothing. Mark Dittmar will lead off the fifth inning. 5-3 is ground ball pitcher. 15's a roll. Looking at the two column. And we have an out, one to three. Here's Bobby Richardson, 0 for 1, and a walk today. For 7, the rolls, another walk. That is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 walk given up by Steve Barber, and the Yankees have not been able to take advantage of all these free passes. Here is Tony Kubek. 3 9 is going to be. A split result, one's a triple, the other's a single. And so Richardson, at first, he'll go all the way to the third on the base hit by Tony Kubek. First and third, one away. The meat of the Yankee order, Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris are due to bat. Here's the pitch. 5-2 is a fly ball to right field. It's going to be a sacrifice fly. Richardson will tag and score. Yankees get on the board. It's 3-1 to one Baltimore. Roger Maris. 3-8 is a 1-7 triple. 8 single. That's a single. The runner Kubek goes a third. First and third, two away, and Bill Scourin. Tying runs at first. There's the pitch to Moose. 4-6 is a walk. Bases are loaded. That is the eighth base on balls surrendering the game by Steve Barber, and Baltimore is going to go to their bullpen. Hoyt Wilhelm will be brought on. Um, yeah, he's a knuckleball pitcher. Triandos didn't like trying to catch the knuckleballs and avoiding those wild pitches and pass balls. But... Um, 147 innings, only had 39 walks. He will face Hector Lopez. Here's the pitch to Hector Lopez. 3-7 is going to be a ground ball to third base. That's the end of the Yankee threat. They get one. We go to the top of the six. Baltimore three and New York one. All right, Art Dittmar returns to the mound. The pitch to sixth inning. He'll be facing Gus Triandos, Marv Breeding, and Gene Stevens. 2-8 is a... Single for Gus Triandos. He is two for two today. Yankees will not hold the runner. More of breeding. Two four is a ground ball to third base. Boyer fires to Richardson at second. Over to Scourin at first. Five, four, three, twin killing. And there are two outs. Gene Stevens. 6-7 is going to be a 1-15 single, 16-20 to 20 line out. That's a hit for Gene Stevens. And that brings up the pitcher, Hoyt Wilhelm. I think they want Wilhelm to give him some innings. He's going to go out there. He's the one pitcher who homered, I think, his first major league at bat. Never hit another home run in his long career. 6-7 is going to be a... We got a man on first. 6 7 is going to be a single if it's 19 is out of the split range. Line out the shortstop. So we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. 
Three to one, Baltimore. Yogi Berra will lead off for the Yankees. Four eight is a. Gotta get the picture up there. Hold on a second. So let's see. Four eight is going to be one through nine double. Ten through twenty single. It is a double for Yogi Berra down the line, and nobody out. Tying run will come up. Cleet Boyer. Two forty two hitter, fourteen home runs, three hundred and ninety-three at bats. Tough pitcher. Boyer's gonna sacrifice. And that didn't go well at all. <laughs> That's going to be a pop-up into a double play. That's 2-2 two, two to 6. I'm going to get that runner to the third and then probably hit for the pitcher, but now no bases are clear. we got two outs, and Art Dittmar scheduled a bat. He'll go ahead and bat, stay in the game. 6-5 is a ground ball shortstop X. That's Hanson's a 2. And that's a play he makes. 6-3. We go to the 7th. Baltimore 3 and New York 1. Gene Woodling leads off for the Orioles. One of Baltimore's better hitters. Just a solid hitter all around. He was a four times minor league batting champion. Um... Played 17 years in the major leagues, and then when he retired, he struck oil on his Ohio farm. 1-4 is a swing and miss, strike three. One out in the top of the seventh. Jackie Brandt. 4-7 is a ground ball, second base, X. Uh, Bobby Richardson's a one. Another split card. Three ones a play. Four to three. Here is Brooks Robinson. 23 years in the major leagues from 60 on. 16 consecutive gold gloves at third base. Here's the pitch to Brooks Robinson. 6-8 is a base hit for Robinson. Not holding the runner. Jim Gentile. Five nine is going to be a ground ball to Bobby Richardson. Throws over to first, and the Orioles are retired in the top of the seventh. It's three to one Baltimore as we go to the bottom of the inning. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back for his root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes around at the old park Second baseman Richardson leads off the top of the or bottom of the seventh inning. It's six elevens a roll. That's going to be a ground ball to Jim Gentile at first base. Flips to the pitcher, one down. Tony Kubek. Four twelve is a fly ball to right field, caught by Gene Stevens. Two outs. Here is Mickey Mantle. Go for two. Does have a sacrifice fly RBI. Here's the pitch to Mantle. 310 is a strikeout. Three up and three down for the Yanks. Top of the eighth, Baltimore three and New York one. Box Bombers missed the 1959 World Series. That was the year of the Go-Go Sox. Here we are in 1960. 
they are behind the eight ball here in the eighth inning, only six outs to go to catch up. Top of the or or uh, Orioles will lead off with Ron Hansen, the Augusta Riandos, and Marv Breeding. Art Nitbar still on there for the Yankees. Here's the pitch. 5-9 is a ground ball to Bobby Richardson at second base. One away. Catcher Gus Triandos. 3-8 is a swing and a miss for a strike. Three. Two outs. And now Marv Breeding, the second baseman. 2 is a ground ball back to Dittmar. Three up and three down for the Orioles. For the bottom of the eighth, three to one Baltimore. Roger Maris comes up for the Yankees. Three seven, let's see, three seven. That's going to be a long fly ball to right field. And it is just caught at the wall. That was a um, home run one, fly ball two through 20, roll to three. One away. Bill Scourin. 5'11's left field X fly ball to Eugene Williams of four. 12 the roll. That's going to be a base hit for Bill Scourin. He has two for three. Hector Lopez. Not holding the runner. 6-8 is a 1-9 single. That's going to be a base hit. One base. Advance. Lopez is at first. Scourin's at second. One away for a very clutch hitter, Yogi Berra. Six. Four is going to be ground ball third base X. That's Robinson, and he's a one. Six one is a five four three double play. We go to the top of the ninth, the Baltimore Orioles three, the New York Yankees. Gene Stevens will lead off the top of the ninth inning for the Orioles. Five seven is going to be a pop to first. One away. Baltimore will send up little Albie Pearson to pitch hit for the pitcher Hoyt Wilhelm. Here's the pitch from Art Dittmar. 6-6 six, six is a fly ball to left field caught by Hector Lopez. Two outs. Top of the Oriole order and Gene Woodley. 3-8 is going to be a single. Jackie Brandt. Two five is a swing and a miss for a strike three. The Orioles are down in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Baltimore three, Yankees one. In the pitch of the ninth inning for the Baltimore Orioles is relief pitcher Wet Stock, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, one loss record, 2.91 earned run average. He'll be looking at the bottom of the Yankee order. Cleet Boyer, a pitch hitter, and then the top of the order. Here's the pitch to Cletus Boyer. 3-6 is going to be a ground ball back to West Stock. Throws over the first. Caught by Gentile. There's one down. Yankees will set up pinch hitter Gil McDougal to hit for the pitcher. Here's the pitch from Stock. 6-10 is a pop-up to first base. Jim Gentile is under it. He makes the catch. Two away. And there'll be another pitch hitter coming up for New York. That is Bob Serve. There's a pitch to Serve. 5-11. That's a fly ball left field X. Gene Whittling's a four. And that's safe at second on an air. That'll bring up Tony Kubek with two outs, runner on second. 
and Mickey Mantle's on deck, Roger Maris in the hole. Here's the, oops, I dropped the dice. Here's a two out pitch to Kubek. One five is a one through 15 single. 20 is a line out to first base. And that's the end of the ball game. Final score, Baltimore Orioles three and the New York Yankees one. To wrap up today's game, the Baltimore Orioles scored three runs on seven hits and committed one error. That one error came in the ninth inning and threatened to open the door for the Yankees. The Yankees scored one run on six hits and they committed no errors. The winning pitcher was Hoyt Wilhelm, three and a third, no earned runs, three hits, strikeout, no walks. The losing pitcher was Art Dittmar, and let's see, Wes Stock got the save. The star of the game today, once again, is Gus Triandos. He was the star yesterday with the multi-home run day. Hit another home run today in the fourth inning. Three-run homer to drive in Gentile and Hansen and account for all of Baltimore's runs. Uh, the bullpen held on, Wilhelm and Stock. And the Orioles will go to the King of the Hill World Series between the American League and National League. That's going to be in about a week and a half. Monday we'll start the National League. And I hope you enjoyed this game. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe and the like buttons. Thank you for watching. This is Apple Ryan saying good night and God bless.